Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on Source Mod. This is Matt with Comax Gaming. So today we're gonna cover multi-dimensional arrays. Since I think that's the best thing to view now that we already know arrays. So the first thing that I want to do here is like remove that since it wasn't working. And um, basically it's gonna be like I was gonna do it two parts but I think one is gonna be alright might be longer though but let's go let's get into this so basically what a multi-dimensional array is it's like an array that can hold more values for example here I have an array called items that can hold up to 32 items or uh, um, uh, how can I call this? Let's call it values. Thirty-two values, and it has this array called items can handle up to thirty-two values. But what if I wanted this, like item zero, to hold more than one value, not only like fifty-five? I wanted to hold it fifty-five and 65 well that's how you did it with multi-dimensional arrays so it's fairly simple the way to make this is you, ch you get the first square brackets with the amount of items you want to add and then you have another square bracket with a number of divisions that's the way I call it it's how many data that's gonna handle each value like for example here when I said two items it's gonna have items zero 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 because items at zero is gonna have zero slot zero and slot one to store information so now items zero is gonna equal 55 and 65 all stored in different locations you can have as much as you want here you can have I don't know 55 as many as you like but for now we're gonna use two since we're not gonna use more okay so basically what I'm gonna teach you here is how to make something like the previous tutorial so if you didn't watch it I'll suggest going watching that one and then coming back here and watch this one what we're gonna do is use the same command as before the set number but we're gonna have two numbers now. We're not gonna have only one. So the first one, uh, I mean the set num, is gonna set a number to the um, items x at zero. But items x at one is gonna be the number that the user um, typed multiplied by two. For example, if the user typed, I don't know, sm set num 5 what we're gonna do is do items client add 0 equal 5 and items client at 1 is gonna be equal 2 times 5 which is 10 that's basically what we're gonna do here it's gonna be fairly simple not sure if it's gonna be fast but it's gonna be simple for sure okay so first we wanna remove this restriction we've added um here what we wanna write is um get in stream to in gets in the args okay we got the r1 int integer so like we said the slot at zero for this client is going to be the number that they typed but at 1 whoops at 1 is going to be equal 2 times the number so you're going to write the number d items client the one they typed at 0 is going to be equaling arg1 int but we want to say and that 
number multiplied by two e equals another integer. And what we're gonna do here is copy and paste this one since this is the one that says two times the, the number they typed. So yeah, it's really simple. And here we're gonna do um when it's at to the value. Yeah. I'm actually gonna remove this restriction here. So I'm just gonna print the chat <laughs> direct. So add zero the number that they stored comma and the uh, number multiplied oops by I'm not gonna create that. Make sure you you spell multiplied like that, else it's it's not gonna work. So that number multiplied by two equals this at one. Okay, overall, what we s what we're saying here is like we're creating an array with items with thirty-two items, and each one of those items is gonna ha store two values, not one, but two. This is a multi-dimensional array because it can hold up because each item here can hold up to like I don't know a lot of values. I'm not sure how much how many exactly, but yeah, basically that's it. What we're doing here is get a number with the command set num. What we do here is get the argument or the number. Then here we convert that string that they've typed into an integer so we can actually use it and assign items at the client items at zero is going to be arg1 int the number that they typed and the items client at one is going to be equal two times the number that they've typed what we do here is basically just print everything out same in there and here with come and get num. Um maybe you're wondering how can I use this? I'm gonna show you really um easy well not easy but basic example on where you can use this type of stuff. So BRB I'm gonna compile this and go in game. Okay guys I'm back in game I'm gonna set num five as you can see it says number 5 has been stored and that number multiplied by 2 equals 10 which is correct so if you do get num whoops get num number stored is 5 and that number multiplied by 2 equals 10 which is correct so set num 1000 whoops yeah um Funny thing, the, the integer um, amount, like the amount of characters that the that that integer is gonna uh, handle is gonna be two as well. That's a funny thing. I forgot to actually point that out. So if you type, for example, let me try actually set num um, one hundred. Let's try it out. Yeah, gets ten as well. So you gotta make that bigger to make it actually work. But basically it works and you got that working with multi-dimensional arrays. So I hope you understood this and I'm gonna show you something and it's something from the Comex roleplay mod. This is a private mod so I'm not gonna show much from this. So BRB let me get into that. Okay guys. I mean the roleplay mod source code and here as you can see I've created this. This array is a string, in fact, and can handle characters of different type but integers. And as you can see it, it says eighty six has three square brackets. It says eighty six eighty six two and ninety nine. So this is basically it's gonna say eighty six models, so eighty six items. Each one of these items is going to have a subdivision of two. Two subdivisions, 
which is going to cover the model name, the path, and the material in the second one. And it's going to be 99 characters each. So 99 characters is the amount of characters you're going to be able to type. For example, that until 99. Once you, re once you reach 99, there is going to be out of bounds. The string is going to be out of bounds, so you're not going to be able to add more um, characters to that, basically. But you're going to be able to add more items until you, re you fill out the 86 items that we've added, or I've added. So basically, that's it. That's how multi dimension arrays work. I hope you, under you understood this. Um, play around with it. I don't know, create a plugin with different stuff that can perform different stuff as well. <laughs> I don't know. Have fun. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, read it up. Favorite it. Share it with your friends, family, whatever. Share with people that want to learn and that want to make awesome plugins. So, thanks for watching again. Please subscribe. I'm seeing, see you in the next one. This is Matt with Comox Gaming.